Businesses open up, others are closing down, and there have been several recently on Mass Ave. WRTV found three on one block whose doors are now closed. But as WRTV's Caitlin Kendall shows us, some say it's not indicative of what's happening downtown, but rather a much larger issue. I remember how downtown was, and it was really cool when I was a little kid. Jerry Cosin remembers the vast changes downtown's landscape has seen over the years. When we first came here 10 years ago, uh, this end of Mass Avenue was pretty quiet. But since then, businesses have boomed on the north end of Mass Ave, with other places opening up and the addition of bottle works. Cosine says there's been no shortage of customers. There's a real community here, and there's a real market need here. Despite that, Mimi Blue has decided to close their doors. The owners are selling, but not because of lack of business. It had nothing to do with the location. The location is fabulous. Um, the cost of goods, the cost of labor uh, over the last uh, 24 months is up almost 30 percent. Sadly, the economy has played a role in the closure of businesses across the country. We cannot raise our prices in good conscience uh, and lay it off on the consumer in order to rationalize staying in business. And that's the simple part of it. It's just really sad because I feel like everything is getting more and more expensive. Mimi Blue isn't the first business on Mass Ave to shut their doors in recent months. Sad to see all the empty buildings and empty spaces. Mimi Blue, Homespun and Roosters in the same block have all closed. And just a few blocks down, World of Beer too. It's not an epidemic to Mass Avenue. It's the environment in general. Cosin is optimistic for the future of Mass Ave moving forward. I believe that people can make it. Um, it's just a question of the rents being affordable and um, do they have a really good business plan. And hopefully that leaves room for new growth. In Indianapolis, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Mimi Blue did pay all of their employees a severance. As for who will buy the property, well, that is still up in the air tonight.